when this game launched, I was pretty excited because Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning was highly praised. That was the year 2012. Besides, I love RPG games. With an open world setting, it's the best combination. What more can you ask? However, when I played it, uh, I was a little bit disappointed because it feels like an old game. The RPG element of this game is great, better than Skyrim, at least just how I think of it. Better than most RPG games, to say the least, you can be anything you want. You can be a pure sneaky rogue, which is my favorite, or you can mix it up with sorcery, or you can mix all of them together, rogue, sorcerer, and warrior. Everything would depend on what type of character you're going to play. And with different weapons, we mean different combo sets. We can mix and match almost everything. The combat gameplay, I think, is the best that I have played so far. It is so great that it is much addicting, especially when your fate meter is filled up and you are ready to enter weapon mode. Wow, it feels so great afterwards. There is a sense of satisfaction every after beating an enemy with Reckon Mode. The lore of the story of the game is so well thought of. What can you expect from the great R.A. Salvatore, the creator of Great Storden? In the kingdoms of Amalur, everything is pretty distant, as everybody is controlled by the so-called Weave of Faith. Until when you destroy your Weave of Faith by coming to life again after your death. Yes, you die in this game, but comes to life again. Because as all RPG goes, you are the chosen one. The Faithless One. The side quests are excellent. They are well integrated in the story that you would not even notice that you are playing just a side quest. However, the NPCs are monotonous. You would not see the difference between one NPC to another. This might be okay way back 2012, but today is 2020. Those are about the best things of the game. This game might be great in 2012, but today is 2020. I have so many issues with the camera. There are times that the camera is in a place where I do not want it to be. But in dialogue, the camera... What happened here? One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fae. I do not even know what it is doing there anyway. I sent you to work on my word alone. Is he talking to me? The graphics is not something new. It must have been nice in the year 2012. But in 2020, I don't think so. I do not know why the devs just improved the graphics a little bit and not enhance it to keep with the times. Maybe they want to keep the original graphics to give some kind of a nostalgia to the returning players. The new players like me could not appreciate it. I'm trying to compare the gameplay videos of 2012 and 2020 and I do not see the difference. If you hear all players playing the game again, most of them say they do not see any difference. It's just made me wonder, where is the rare in rare reckoning? Because it is just the same kingdoms of Amala reckoning. If today is 2012, I can score it a 9 out of 10. But since today is 2020, this game is a little of a disappointment. When I say a little, I really mean a little. That is why I scored 7 out of 10. I would not recommend to buy this game. However, if you love RPG, a great driven story, an addicting combat play, but if you don't care about graphics and how old the game you are playing, you can try to play this game. It's worth it. You will be satisfied in every combat encounter with hundreds of hours in store for you. 
If this review is helpful, you click the thumbs up button. And if you want to support my channel, you hit the red button that says subscribe. Thanks for today. Ciao!